there is a history of trauma in this case and as you can see there is a left left frontal contusion at the same time there is a subdural hemorrhage as well as you go down there is x y q dilatation of the left side frontal horn or ventricle but the real concern was the bleeding from the left ear and uh, if you try to see it on the bone window you don't make any much uh, headways with uh, this scan maybe you can imagine uh, there is a hemosinus hemotympanum there as this uh, side is filled with uh, high density fluid but that's all you can uh, perceive from this you need a uh, hr temporal bone now this is why hr temporal bone is important because now in the same scan when you are scanning for the hr temporal bone you start to notice this fracture here and you go down this transverse fracture involving the temporal bone is noted and you can see how well it is going and involving the middle ear and possibly there is a fracture uh, involving the medial side as well and there is a hemotympanum here in the middle ear is there any other fracture I'm not sure but you can see there is a hemos uh, sinus as well in the spinoid and bilateral yeah spinoid the mastoid air cells are filled with blood again and uh, so yeah that's why basically i sh showed you this can to tell you why uh, it is important to take a chart temporal bone now let us compare with that right side bone to show you that how exactly it would look on the normal side you see there is no fracture line uh, there is ear in the middle ear no blood where is that thank you so much for your time and uh, maybe i will try to show you in the yeah you can see the fracture here this one going like this and you can see the hemotympanum right here so that's that thank you so much for your time